how's everybody doing? Crypto Shaped here to give you guys a update video on what's been going on. A lot of you have seen uh, different pictures on Misfit Mining and Red Panda Mining's uh, Discord and the rig pics of this particular setup that I have been working on. We designed this for a upcoming build, which you guys are all going to be a part of. I will be um, pretty much uh, blogging it or recording every step of the way. This is the first step of getting you guys involved on what I am doing. I am pretty much moving from a hobby minor standpoint to a small scale mining farm a full-time job that is my plan hopefully so you guys will be a part of that to either see me horribly fail at doing this or succeed and set an example and standard that other people can follow in my footpath and hopefully succeed like I did. I don't know which way it's gonna go. You guys all get to witness it along the way. I'm gonna explain things as best as I can to my ability as I'm still learning how to use um, the lighting setup, the camera setup, the audio setup, all that. I'm, I'm new to this part. I'm not new to the engineering. I come from engineering, so I like to design and build things that have a purpose. So on to this case. Why am I going through this um, amount of work for something that I can buy off the shelf? Yeah, I can go buy a mining case off the shelf, yada, yada, yada all that good stuff it doesn't it doesn't fit my needs it's not um key turn it's not scalable it has no preventative maintenance standpoint i can't come in oh i got a bad riser no problem i'll just rip this one out i'll put a new one in put gpu back in and be done or oh i got a got to change the spacing on these things well I just loosen up one screw I can adjust the spacing as needed to fit different GPUs in here different thicknesses I might get one card that's um, you know a little bit thinner and then I might have one card that's trying to do this one-handed super long might have another card that's thicker so as you can see i can you know oh i gotta move this one over leave a little bit of space for the cooling on that one that is the whole purpose and reasoning behind what i am calling my uh my adjustable riser rail system that's I don't know you guys come up with a better name let me know but that's what I'm calling it for my purposes of identifying it all right on to the next part of this case it's gutted in the front I still have bands to mount um, I just got some in Um, these are basically ASIC fans. They're 6,000 RPM, 120 millimeter. I'll be sticking three of these across the front, which we'll get into that. Because I know a lot of you are going to automatically jump me and tell me that the cooling and heat extraction on server cases are absolutely terrible. So I, I'm already aware of that. We are placing these in a server rack in a sealed hot cold aisle 
with a negative pressure on the exhaust and a positive pressure pushing air in, negative pressure sucking air out, and a sealed hot aisle that will exhaust it outside. So we're, we're kind of going above and beyond to make sure we can get everything cooled properly. The next component, that's not good, got the GPU. The next component is the one that everybody's been hounding me about and that's this ATX server PSU adapter, pretty much standard ATX bolt up and allows you to put a server power supply in but it doesn't stop there. This setup also allows me to function as normal with a slide out, grab a new PSU because let's say it's bad and slip it back in and done. So that was designed so that we didn't have to take the cover off the, rack, the case, pull the case out of the rack, I should say, pop the cover off, change the PSU. We don't want that. We are building a farm. Everything has to have a reason and rhyme. And we're trying to eliminate um, making our jobs harder than what they need. Everything needs to be scalable. It needs to be ease of access for preventative maintenance or PM. And uh, it needs to be key turn. So we need to be able to re rinse and repeat when we add a case. So we buy a case, we should just be able to bolt all this stuff up, which we can, which there's no screw, no drilling or anything. All these holes are stock in these cases. We're using um, stock bolt patterns to just be able to put in what we need, screw them in with the screws that it comes with, and then place the risers, put the video cards in, mount the motherboard, mount the adapter for the PSU, and mount the um, parallel miner bracket for the breakout board, and off we go. Put it into the rack, get it all tuned in, and move on to the next one. That's the whole point of all this. That is what we have been up to. So I will keep you guys updated as I will be setting my first rack up. Um, my rack comes today, so I'll be setting that up and doing a video on that setup. It's not going to be anything special because we are not ready to uh, put the racks in our building, the machine shop, which I posted a previous video on, um, life-changing events, if you guys didn't watch that one. Uh, selling my machine shop pretty much and getting into crypto mining which I've been in this since 2017 so it's nothing new to me I'm not FOMOing in I've been doing this for a while I've been saving up so I'm basically selling a business to pursue this business even further so you guys will see the video of that along with um, design changes, all that, and I will try my best to release um, these server PSU to ATX adapters. If the demand keeps increasing, I will add them to my web store, which is CryptoShape.com. I already currently supply, let me grab some here, supply these uh, PCI riser clips, which is really nothing new. I just uh, started printing them for my own needs and other members in the community needed a reliable source form. So I started printing more and added them to my web store. So that's that, but I will try and get this up on my web store after I get a finished design because whatever I'm using 
I want you guys to use too because I spent the extra time in designing it. So I know that it's going to function like it should. Everything else that you guys have seen, I think I got them. Somewhere around here. Had them. Hang on. not have them because they're over here so you know I kind of have changed the design as we went you know started with this orange one there's actually one before this because it didn't have the notch in it for the fan and it changed to this one which is a little bit thinner there's a rhyme and reason for that or not thinner but this length has changed which has a rhyme and reason for and then the 40 millimeter fan exhaust which I decided needed to um, can't see it here but it's actually built out it's ducked so it angles the air in a shoe out because there's actually a lip on this backside so I was trying to create a better airflow instead of a uh, turbulence point that the air would hit and you know it wouldn't flow right so that is that i will see you guys in the next video hopefully uh soon i i don't know what that one's gonna be like i said it probably will until me putting the, the server rack together and uh finishing the spot behind me which is a complete disaster. I got to get it cleaned up. It's just got all my shipping materials and stuff in it. It needs to be finished drywalled and sealed so that I can put the racks in temporarily, seal them off, and uh, be able to extract the hot air out of the back as a mini hot cold aisle setup. So we will talk about that in the next video. But 